Hi everyone, it's Mike with the Astro Explorers, and I'm here to do another video on how to use your Celestron Nexstar 8SE. Today's video is going to be on how to power your Celestron Nexstar 8SE. And for that, I've got three different options. First option we've already gone through in our how to set up the Celestron Nexstar 8SE telescope, and that was using the batteries. So again, I'll just real briefly touch on that. And then the second option is going to be using a battery pack. And then the third option, wait and see, I think you'll enjoy it the most, especially if you are a backyard Astro Explorer. All right, so our first option is using the batteries. And the Celestron Nexstar 8SE uses eight AA batteries. Now, I touched on this back in the original video on how to set up your telescope. Uh, with that, we'll just touch on it again real briefly. All you have to do is pop this open. It can come off. You put your eight batteries inside, close it. There we go. You close it and then you are all set. All right, so with the batteries, you do have a couple issues. One is the batteries do run out pretty quick. You might only get a couple nights of viewing before you have to switch those batteries out. And that can get expensive pretty fast. The second issue is I've seen a lot of complaints online. I've kind of experienced it myself where your go-to functionality kind of dips. The batteries do not provide a steady power as you're tracking across the night sky and it will kind of dip and you'll lose that go-to functionality or it won't be as accurate. So the batteries are nice when you're originally setting up, playing around, if you want to just point and look at things such as the moon, but getting a good steady track of planets or deep space objects isn't going to work very well with simply having the eight batteries in here and you'll constantly be changing them out. So. Our second option is going to be using a battery pack. All right, so when it comes to battery packs, I've gone through two different ones before stumbling on my preferred method. And the first one was this little battery pack right here. And it works really good. I'll have a link to it in the description if you wanna use it. It works really good if all you're trying to do is power your telescope, but with getting into astrophotography, you're going to want to power not only your telescope, but your laptop, your camera. If you're using a dew heater, you'll want to power that as well. So this little boy, unfortunately, isn't going to handle all of that. And that's why we've got, oh my goodness, these big battery packs right here. So this is an EF Delta. It's not actually mine. It's one I'm borrowing but this will power everything. And I'm gonna plug it in and show you what kind of capacity we have to power everything we need for astrophotography for a night. All right, so in order to use your battery pack, you are going to need a way to plug the battery into your telescope. And for that, we've got this little AC adapter here that plugs in. So I will put a link to it in the description below, of course, uh, where you can pick one of these up and Quite simply, you'll just plug it in back here. It's uh, right next to the power button and then plug this into your battery pack and you're good to go. All right, so here it is, back of the mount. And you can see where we just plug it in. You're good to go right there. And then for the battery pack on this one, we're just gonna plug in back here and now we turn on the battery and we have power to our telescope so you can see maybe yep there it is that we have the power right there now this might be a little hard to see on the screen it looks like the refresh rate on the battery pack does not play nicely unfortunately with the actual display on the phone but we've got 99 hours of power here simply running our telescope. Now we're not running the laptop or anything else at the moment, but just like our video the other day where I plugged in the laptop, let's see how long the battery pack will last. So 
So I've plugged in the laptop. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. So we can. All right, so laptop's powered on. And now, again, unfortunately, the refresh rate's not showing very good, but we've got about 21 hours, 30 hours, depending on how much that fan is running uh, with this battery pack and this laptop. Now, this laptop is a gaming laptop. It's not what I typically use. So depending on what kind of laptop you're using for astrophotography, you can probably get more mileage out of your battery pack. But for a simple night out, having 30 hours of power is pretty good. All right, so here we have the battery pack plugged into the observatory. And right now I have everything on and working that you would normally have going for a night out. So I've got the mount on, I've got a dew heater on, I've got the laptop that I typically use on. Uh, it's about nine years old. I've got the Wi-Fi going on the laptop. I've got the dew heater on the camera. I've got the camera. I've got the cooler on the camera. I've got the second camera for the guide. Everything is turned on right now. And you can see it's running off this old Lenovo laptop. We've got the dew heater here all the way up. So everything is being powered right now and all off this battery pack that I'm borrowing. And it looks like we're averaging about 20 hours of uh, battery life here. So we're at 96% right now. You'll see it drops down to 13 every once in a while and sometimes it jumps up to 30 hours left. But I feel pretty confident that this would last overnight powering all the devices that I needed to power for a night out if I was out at a dark site. All right, so one of the neat things about these battery packs, depending on what kind of battery pack that you get, is some of them come with solar panels and you can use those solar panels to recharge your battery pack so if you're out camping for a couple nights and you take some of your equipment with you you have the opportunity and the ability to recharge these which you can do if you've got a lot of batteries double a's but again you're not going to be running your laptop your dew heater things like that so having a battery pack can be a very good option depending on where it is you're going to be doing your astrophotography. All right, so as you probably guessed, the third option is using power from your home. So a simple extension cord can make a world of difference. Now the battery pack works great if you've got the money to spend on it. They're kind of pricey depending on what kind of battery pack you get. That one with the solar panels is just as expensive as the telescope. So depending on where you wanna invest your money, especially with me doing it all in my backyard right now, a simple extension cord is what I need. So for that, again, I just run it across the yard to the observatory and I'm able to power everything. All right, so before, you, uh, before I had the observatory, I was out here on the deck with my Celestron and I ran everything off the extension cord. It was some very cold nights when I was getting started doing the planets and one of the things that you can't run on one of those battery packs is a little space heater. Those space heaters use up a lot of energy and it would drain that battery in about 30 minutes to an hour. So having an extension cord, just plug it in to your AC adapter here makes life really easy and it's lighter than a battery pack it's they put away pretty easy and again they're just quite a bit cheaper so it really comes down to where are you going to be doing your astrophotography personally again i do mine in my backyard in the observatory but if you're going to dark sites maybe you'll want to invest in a good battery pack maybe with solar panels that way you can keep that charged and going but 
it's all really kind of based on what you want to do. I shoot in a Bortle 8, Bortle 9 here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, so I could benefit from a dark site, but this is where I know I'm going to be doing my astrophotography and using my telescope. So that's why I've not personally invested yet in a battery pack, but it is something that I would like to do on the list later. And I know with the solar panels, I might be able to set it up so that I can recharge during the day and then not have to take an extension cord out every day I want to use it. So that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you've got any questions on anything, please leave them in the comments section. If you've got tips, tricks, or other battery recommendations or recommendations for powering your telescope, leave those in the comments as well. We're all learning here together. So I hope you all have clear nights and happy star hunting.